It's Sunday the 31st of March and uh, starting the week a little bit early uh, this week because uh, we've got a short week in effect with uh, it being Easter Monday. Of course, it's Easter Sunday today and um, the, the whole country is pretty much shut down. Um, it's the one day in the year when there's no shops open at all and uh, very little to do um, outside of uh, you know being around with family and things like that now we've got lots of family coming up uh, later today we've also got um, or I've also got uh, a virtual meet tonight with a lot of sellers uh, which I'm looking forward to uh, so I thought I'd better get ahead and uh, get some orders picked so we've got um, 12 orders to pick uh, currently on uh, Bricklink, um, only 90 lots, 305 items, so not a lot, all mostly uh, fairly modest size orders. On uh, Brick Owl, we've got another 10. Uh, on there, we've got 256 lots uh, in 992 items. And then on um, eBay, we've got six orders uh, to... Uh, pick on there. Uh, now I've done the first batch, uh, so I thought I'd show you, and then I can get these cleared and ready for the post, and then start uh, with a second lot. On uh, eBay, we've got a Series 14 Spectre going out. Uh, we've got a Minecraft Poly bag. We've got a Vampire Knight. I've still got quite a few Vampire Knights uh, available. Um, we've got a Ron Weasley figure couple of Star Wars uh, Shock Trooper uh, going out and another uh, Minecraft Polybag. Um, then onto the Bricklink orders, uh, we've got a General Grievous uh, head going out for £6. We've got a couple of other minifig heads, uh, some body armour. We've got an R2-D2 figure and a few other bits and pieces and more minifig parts. Uh, small parts order there and then we've got a few uh, interesting pieces going out that I think is from the uh, Monster Fighters uh, series and we've got, I don't know if you remember I showed these a while ago when I'd, I'd come across them, there's some kind of uh, projectile of, of some sort, um, never had never seen them uh, before but uh, anyway uh, got one of those going out with that order as well. So I'm uh, going to get these uh, packed away and uh, ready for shipping and then uh, we'll maybe look at another batch. It's now Easter Monday. It's uh, almost eight o'clock in the evening and I'm doing another batch of orders uh, ready for the post in the morning. Uh, we've still got at least one more batch to do after this uh, but I just thought I'd give you a quick look before I start packing these up. Um, I have got a bit of a disaster going on because I am out of my smallest size uh, jiffy bags. Don't know if I mentioned that the other day um, but where I've got um, you know a small order like this um, I would normally pop them in a small <laughs> jiffy bag like this and I don't have any left. Um, I have ordered some, I uh, thought they'd have been here before now, uh, but that means the smaller size I've got is this, which is a C0. So I'm not sure if I want to be putting uh, those small orders in there. So not quite sure what to do, to be honest, whether to put them in there and, you know, just have them look a little bit silly or whether to hold the small orders back for the small envelopes. But I, I guess it's just going to be easier to just get them packed in those bigger envelopes tonight and get them off uh, my uh, my workspace and out of the way, to be honest. So I think I've just answered that question. Um, anyway, um, first up then, we've got uh, 60 of these uh, flat silver roller skates and some metallic silver tiles going out. We've got uh, Tina Goldstein and uh, some arches there, some Technic panels. Uh, a few uh, bits and bobs there from Hero Factory and a couple of other parts. Uh, regular sort of parts orders. 
and uh, nothing too much to mention. I have got um, these four hair pieces I mentioned earlier are going off to Macau. And uh, I have to check where Macau was, to be honest with you. Uh, my geography is not the best. And uh, it seems like it's uh, part of China or Chinese Isles or, or whatever. So uh, we'll get those off uh, there as well. I've got a hand Solo in Carbonite uh, going out. I've got a whole load of Bionicle stuff uh, uh, going off to the US. And um, US buyers in particular really seem to like Bionicle. I don't know if it's just me, but that seems to be really popular in, in the US. Um, we've got a Loki minifig uh, going out with a few parts and we've got some uh, various minifig heads and things and another small parts order there. So gonna get these ones packed up, added to the uh, other orders that we picked the other day and then we'll crack on with the next batch. So Monday morning and I've just finished the uh, most recent batch. We've had quite a few orders over the weekend. I've actually lost count um, because of it going across months. And, uh, and I've been packing over multiple days, obviously. Um, but I'll get this lot uh, packed up. Still got a large uh, order, 160 something lots to pick and another one for local pickup. Uh, so I'll get those picked when I get back from the uh, from the post office. But uh, let's have a look at what we got going out now. Um, we got another uh, Triceratops costume guy going out on eBay. A Sora poly bag going out, and then we're into the uh, parts orders. So nothing too much to say about these. A uh, few of the larger orders. Nothing super. Uh, large these are only about uh, 30 something lots uh, we've got a minifig head going out there another one about 30 40 lots and then um, a couple more orders here which uh, not gonna be great going in the larger envelopes that I've got but uh, you know that's the way uh, that it goes I should be getting those smaller envelopes in uh, later this morning uh, but uh, I want to get these off in the post as early as possible so I'm going to get these packed up and then it's off to the post office well here we are with the last batch it's now uh, Monday afternoon and uh, the orders have continued to come in throughout the day um, this is uh, a local uh, pickup from a guy that I've talked about before um, uh, Chris Tromans who has uh, a, a site, a page on Rebrickable builds lots of um, mini builds of official uh, Lego sets and uh, sells the instructions on there. Some great builds, so check him out if you're not familiar with him and his builds. Um, this is the order that was 160 something lots, and as you can see. It's pretty much one of this, one of that, one of another. Um, lots of small pieces, parts, um, uh, lots of mini doll uh, parts, so uh, friends related, though there is a few minifig uh, bits as well. Um, this is an order from minifigs, uh, which is going out to them. Just a, two items, just the uh, these orange uh, round bricks and these red uh, flowers going out in uh, quantity uh this is uh, a, another uh brick seller who um is on our monthly uh calls or virtual meetups that we do uh a good guy and um uh, another order he's placed a couple of orders with me in recent weeks so really appreciate them and this one is an order for someone that um um contacted me this morning via Facebook to check where I was located and whether I would do a uh, collection. And I subsequently placed an order, uh, which is now already picked and ready for them to collect. So two collections uh, today, one for Chris and one for this new uh, person who lives uh, a couple of miles away from me, but not far at all. And uh, some friends related stuff some plates, lots of used bits, some couple of horses there as well. So uh, we'll get these packed up, a uh, few of them to go off to the uh, 
post box at the depot and the other two i'll get ready for collection uh, this evening i'm pretty pleased um on a different note because my cd that i ordered at the weekends arrived already can't believe it because i think i only won it on saturday this is a great old um band a uh, bit of a cult uh sort of following that they have a uh, big fan of theirs they only ever released one album and uh, managed to pick that up on uh, cd so i'm uh, pleased with that um so anyway we'll get this um a uh, lot packed up and then um i've got some admin stuff to do for the rest of the day so i'm not sure i'm going to get any more sorting or, or picking done uh decided that i wanted to get these out of the way so that i can leave as much of tomorrow free for other things as possible rather than leaving some of these to pick in the morning which i could have done it's Wednesday morning and I'm in the process of sorting out some uh, parts here uh, just to get them off the desk and get them put away. Um, but it's time to uh, get to the post office. So I've got to show you what we've got going out this morning before I uh, uh, get adding any more stuff to the store. So on eBay, we've got a uh, mushroom uh, figure going out. We've got a drowned zombie and a minecraft enderman as well we've got a nice order here for nine of the uh, star wars uh, minifigs and 188 uh, collectible minifig bases and then we've got a small order for a few uh, bits and pieces there and then another order here for some of these inverted uh, slopes etc so I'm going to get those packed up off to the post office and then I think when I get back and I tidy up uh, the desk there I'm going to get these parted out I think and get those added in to the store. So uh, we'll get cracking and uh, get those added uh, to the store, get those to the post office and then we'll crack on. Here's the job I'm doing, and I'm actually doing it a couple of days late. Um, Royal Mail uh, shipping prices changed on the 1st of April, or some of them changed. So it's a bit tedious. You've got to go through all of the listings. There's a Royal Mail um, price guide, um, lots and lots of pages of various shipping rates that you need to be checking, depending on what you're offering to the customer. Uh, typically, I just uh do um large letter and small parcel at um domestic and standard international rates um obviously you can set up tracked etc as well uh it's just a case of going through all of the prices and then applying them to your different shipping vans uh so this is what i've got set up in um brick owl so i just have a large letter set up for uh, europe and i even need to break this out to be honest with you because there's there's three zones in in europe uh these days um i, I just tend to um price it as a whole to be honest with you um at the moment but i, I should really break this out into three zones uh, then you've got the three zones for the rest of the world, uh, which I do large letter and small parcel. And then, of course, I've got uh, domestic large letter and small parcel as well. Um, people can request a quote for anything that doesn't fit within uh, these uh, parameters. And then you'll see that I have got a Hermes small parcel, but I've got this disabled. So I'm not actually uh, using that at all um, on. Um, on Bricklink, it's uh, very similar, very much the same. Uh, I think I've got medium parcels set up in here for some reason, but I've got large letters. Um, not everything is activated. You'll see that I've got a local collection, for instance, that I tried, but I've got that disabled because I found that um, because it was free, it just defaulted to the standard shipping method and people were choosing it incorrectly. So I don't use that uh, anymore um and then just got other uh various international rates um now bricklink's different and i kind of like it better um because within um the standard uh, europe large letter for instance 
you can have different zones uh, within um, the one shipping method. And I like that approach a little bit better than, than Brick Owls, if I'm honest. Uh, but it's horses for courses. You've got to update the shipping in, in both places. And it is time consuming and a little bit of a pain when things change. But a necessary part of running the store. It's Thursday the 4th of April and uh, let's take a quick look at what we've got in this morning. On uh, Bricklink we've got four orders, uh, 40 lots for 161 items. And then on Brick Owl we've got another six orders uh, for 118 lots. 225 items and then on eBay we've got two uh, orders as well. Uh, I've just finished picking one of the orders. I've still got uh, them all to pick um, except this one that I've picked which was 94 lots I think. Uh, so just about to get this one uh, bagged up. Um, as you can see um, we've got a real uh, mix of things going on and uh, the reason these are mixed as much as they are is the whole order was pretty much one of this, one of that, uh, one of another, you know, so um, we're obviously not going to be bagging um, individual uh, lots. Um, also yesterday we uh, parted out this, uh, which is 11 sets of the Star Wars Battle Packs which is uh, this one. So 11 sets of those uh, to add to the store. So as soon as I've got the uh, picking finished, we'll get this lot put away and that'll keep us busy for the first uh, couple of hours. So it's now um, Thursday afternoon, nearly three o'clock, and I need to go to the post office before too long. And I've got a bunch of orders here, which I'll show you in more detail in a second. And um, do you remember earlier in the week, I was talking about waiting for some envelopes and they've still not arrived. Um, I contacted the company uh, two days ago. They told me that they'd gone to the wrong depot and they were getting them redirected. Didn't come again yesterday, so I called them again. They said they were sending another lot out via another courier. Um, which should be here today, but I'm looking on eBay and it still says awaiting dispatch and I've tried ringing them and I can't get through and I need to get this lot packed and I'm running really, you know, out of uh, envelopes or at least I'm using lots of these larger envelopes that I don't need to use for something this size or this size or this size, you know, it's just crazy. Um, so it's really wasteful in terms of the uh, envelopes. Um, I'm going to keep trying. I've been holding off packing these until the envelopes come. Um, but I'm going to have to at least pack the bigger ones and see uh, see what happens from there. Um, I don't really know what to do, whether to order from another company and try and get to me tomorrow. I mean, this company, you know, it's the people I've used for the last, uh, what, four years. They're called Sounds Wholesale on uh, eBay. Really uh, good, really responsive normally. Uh, good customer service. There's a telephone number to call. They've got a help desk, etc. Really good. But they've really let me down in this uh, particular instance this week. But anyway, let's have a look at what we've got going out. Um, so first off, we've got uh, an underwater uh, uh, diver going out. Um, and incredibly, you know, you look at this price. It's been bought internationally and they're paying £10 to get it shipped. Plus another £6 in import duty. So £22 that's costing them for a £5 um, packet, which is a bit crazy. I uh, managed to sell three of these Minecraft uh, Skulkers, uh, so they've sold for £11. Um, we've got a single uh, like trans uh, blue dome going out there. Uh, this was the largest order, which I actually picked yesterday evening, was about 95 lots, something like that. 
um, a couple of uh, minifig parts going out there. Um, I was actually got the wrong head. Uh, for this order so i've messaged the customer i'm expecting they just want to cancel the order but we'll we'll see uh when they reply uh watcher of the channels um messaged me um and um mentioned that you know they enjoy watching the vlogs etc and they've ordered a couple of um star wars figures and more parts orders going out a couple of printed uh dishes for a star wars set there some sand green, more green parts there. And another regular watcher of the channel here wanted some brown one by one plates. Um, so we've managed to oblige with that. And then we've got three Harry Potter things going out. And then over here, two more eBay orders just come in. Uh, one for another drowned zombie. That's a couple of those moved this week. And another uh, Triceratops costume guy and then a, another uh, order for a couple of minifig uh, parts. So I'm gonna go on, try and ring this company again. They've been on hold for 20 minutes or so and uh, try and chase these envelopes up. Friday morning and it seems like it's only an hour or so since I was doing this uh, yesterday and going to the post office and here I am again uh, already. Uh, but you know, the, the fact that it's gotta be out before 10 is, uh, is the driving factor in this. Uh, anyway, we've got a Kai minifig going out on eBay, a Sala uh, figure from Indiana Jones, an uh, Enderman uh, from Minecraft, uh, Star Wars Clone Trooper, all of those on eBay. Then on Bricklink, we've got a Dimensions Fun Pack going out, and this is going off to Turkey. Uh, we've got uh, three of these Tan Technic balls going to China. And then we've got uh, this uh, trans uh, motorcycle wheel uh, and some uh, uh, green uh, parts there as well. A couple of minifig bits and pieces, some bionicle stuff. Um, interestingly, this uh, little bionicle pump sold for 250, which is good. And then the largest order of the day is about 38 lots or so, lots of old brown and uh, uh, some um, saddles and cannon bases and things like that in that order. Uh, so get these packed up and uh, then time to do a bit of Lego sorting, I think. Well, it's time to crack on with some more sorting. Um, we've got lots of empty tubs uh, here that need refilling. A couple of them um, need emptying as well. I uh, need to bag those up so that I can continue to to fill them, those being uh, Technic and Slopes. And also modified bricks uh, probably need to come out. I've emptied the wheels out. We've got two by plates, one by plates go here, one by bricks, two by bricks. We've got tiles at the end, I've still got room in. Uh, so I'm gonna give it a little uh, while, a little bit of a sort through. Not expecting to find anything uh particularly special in here um but you never know um so if i do come across anything i will of course uh let you guys know and uh, put them aside um but it's just a question of getting back at it and uh, bulking up on some of these things so that i can uh, get them added to the store uh bulking up on the you know first category sort and then um We'll get to um, breaking those down further probably next week. Um, now, ideally, you want to build these categories up as big as you can. Um, I've talked about that many times. And I know that a lot of other sellers are able to bulk up maybe even to a container this size of one particular category. Um, but for me, I just don't really have the space. And I probably don't do enough sorting to, to build up that level. So I tend to do in smaller batches, which is not the most efficient and not uh, the ideal way to do it. But uh, sometimes needs must and you just have to uh, do whatever uh, suits uh, your way of operating. So anyway, with that, I'm going to get cracking and uh, we'll see what we can come up with. Well, I've spent a good chunk of the day um, sorting that tub out and getting it into the relevant um, pots uh, around the place. Now, some of them won't look too uh, full at the moment because I've actually uh, emptied them out, bagged them up and put them back into 
uh, the tub uh, for storage and uh, just trying to have a little bit of a clear out. I've still got tubs around the desk. I just never seem to be able to um, get away from that. Unfortunately, it's one of the things of, uh, you know, sorting Lego and having bits and pieces constantly on the go. Um, but I'm going to get this put away and uh, try and get tidied up a little bit. Um, this place um, with the desk means so um, chock-a-block all the time. It's so dusty. Um, it needs a good clean down. Um, not sure whether I'm going to get to that uh today uh, maybe tomorrow and um, give it a bit of a bit of a, a spruce up um and get some of this uh stuff out of the way i mean some of it's just a tap that needs putting away you know it's just a, a bag full of bags that need to go in a drawer but i've got drawers full of bags uh all used bags of course um that really need a sort or a a throwaway or what some people are doing on some of the forums is offering them off to other people at the cost of postage but um i'm not a big fan of the used um plastic bags if i'm honest uh, myself and i tend to use mostly uh new bags well almost exclusively new, new bags to be honest uh, the same uh, with the envelopes now uh, in terms of the envelope story, um, I sent a bit of a snotty mail off this morning because I'd not received them. And Sod's Law, 10 minutes later, they arrived. <laughs> so um, a day, well, a day late on the second delivery that they sent, but nine days late overall, or at least it's nine days since I ordered them. So eight days uh, late. I appreciate we've had the Easter weekend in amongst all of that but they did finally uh, arrive. And, you know, no qualms with the company, as I've said before, they're pretty uh, pretty good at uh, the customer service and normally things arrive next day. <laughs> <laughs> 